Love them or hate them, roundabouts are becoming more and more common on Nebraska streets and highways. A plethora of comments regarding the proposed four-lane roundabout at the intersection of Victory Road and Norfolk Avenue flooded the Daily News website shortly after plans were announced. Regardless of whether readers were for or against roundabouts, many comments echoed a common sentiment. Many drivers aren't knowledgeable when it comes to the rules of a roundabout. According to the Nebraska Driver's Manual, the same general rules apply for maneuvering through any type of intersection. However, traffic in roundabout flows one way in a counterclockwise direction around the center island. Large vehicles need more space when driving in a roundabout, so roundabouts provide truck aprons, raised paved areas next to a circular roadway for the rear wheels of large trucks to use when turning. Drivers should slow down to the posted advisory speed and obey all traffic signs. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists in the crosswalk as you approach the roundabout. Yield to the traffic approaching on your left already in the roundabout. Enter the roundabout circle when there is a safe gap in traffic. As you approach your exit, turn on your right turn signal. Truck aprons are not to be used by cars, SUVs, pickup trucks, bicyclists, or pedestrians. It is very important to observe signs and arrows to determine which is the proper lane to use before entering the circular roadway. In general, to make a left turn, choose the shared through left turn lane. To make a right turn, choose the shared through right turn lane. To go straight, observe the signs and arrows to see which lane is meant for through traffic. Yield to all traffic on your left already in the roundabout before entering. Stay in your designated lane. Avoid driving next to or passing large trucks approaching and maneuvering through a roundabout as trucks might cross into other lanes or onto the truck apron when turning. Always yield to emergency vehicles. If you have not entered the roundabout, pull over and allow emergency vehicle to pass. If you have entered the roundabout, continue to your exit then once beyond the splitter island, pull over and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. And finally, Avoid stopping within the roundabout. Reporting with Alexis Dvorak for the Norfolk Daily News, I'm Katherine Harris.